So this is our four lens uh, invisibility cloaking system where an object will be placed over here, call it a two-headed arrow maybe. Um, and if you look through here, it's supposed to be invisible when um, looking through this um, lens system. So for this four lens system, we calculate the distance and the focal length in order to find out how we can make this object invisible. For that, through a research paper, we found that we need to use this matrix over here and a series of complicated calculations to um, satisfy this equation uh, to create a perfect cloak. Um, since that will be too difficult, that I'm not going to be talking about um, that calculation today. So let's start off by finding out what the two different lens, lenses are convex and concave so a concave um, bulges outside kind of like a tire maybe and then a convex um, kind of like a cave I guess over here and so the the point at which um, the refractive light rays converge or where they start in the case of convex is called a focal point um, and concave is where they converge after refracting. That's the focal point again. And then from the center of the lens to the focal point is the focal length. And in the case of concave, it is positive when using calculations. And over here again is the focal length from the center to the focal point. It is negative in calculations in the case of convex lenses. So our question or our calculation today would be a two lens system um, and so our main goal is to find out where is, will the image be formed when looking through this two lens system um, from over here. Um, so let's start off with the thin lens, our formula. We will be uh, ignoring for the first part of this calculation the second lens, and we will only be considering where the image will form or distance of where the image will form um, by this first lens. For that, the formula is this. So 1 over the focal length equals 1 over the distance of the object from the center of the lens plus the distance of the image formed. And this is the value we are trying to find. Let's call it di by 1. And so the focal length, as we can see, is over here, 12 centimeters, equals the distance of the object from the center of the first lens would be 12 plus 24, which is 36 centimeters, plus di1. So di1, after solving this, would come up to be 18 centimeters, positive 18. So let's get rid of this. And so where will this image form? It will be to the positive 18 centimeters. So to the right of this lens, beyond the first focal length, and 18 centimeters so this is where our object will be formed by the first lens so now moving over to the second lens um we pretend that this is the original object seen by this first lens and so we will again do this calculation oh this is di2 in this case um, and DO is the distance of the object, but it's basically the distance of this new, newly formed um, image that was formed by the first lens. So 1 over the focal length of the second lens would be 10 centimeters. And it will be negative because this is a convex lens like we saw over here. And then the distance of the object will be not 18, but it would be 33 minus 18 centimeters plus the di2. 
to find out where the final image is formed. So this would simplify out to be 15 centimeters plus 1 over di2. And so um, the second image by the second lens will be formed at negative 6 centimeters. Well, this means that it will be formed to the left of this lens. And since it will be 6 centimeters, it will be somewhere around here. So that is our final answer. And the credit for this uh, calculation goes to Khan Academy.